Hi guys! Welcome sa Engineered Math Channel. Sa video na to ay tuturo ko sa inyo ang addition and subtraction of rational expressions. So kung gusto nyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. Okay, so ang addition and subtraction of rational expressions ay more complicated than multiplication and division of rational expressions, lalo kung ang i-add or isusubtract nating rational expressions ay dissimilar. Kung similar, madali lang. Pero kapag dissimilar, gagamit na tayo ng LCD. So, meron tayong more steps na gagawin. Okay, so, let's start muna dun sa case kung saan mayroong similar denominator yung rational expressions. Okay? For similar denominators, Let's say, for example, 3x over 5y plus z over 5y. So, para silang denominator, right? So, therefore, similar sila. Just like in fraction, kakopihin nyo lang yung common denominator nila. So, 5y, right? And then, add nyo lang yung numerator. So, magiging 3x plus z. Okay? So, yun na yung final answer. So, wala naman na tayong makakancel or mapafactor. So, this is the final answer. Okay? Okay, next we have 2 over 5y minus x over negative 5y. So, para pa rin silang similar yung denominator na 5y. Yun nga lang, itong isa ay merong negative. So, kapag ganun, laging ang goal nyo, alisin nyo yung negative ng mga denominator. So, it's either itaas nyo. So, pwede natin itaas na lang tong negative para mawala na sa siya denominator. So, magiging ano yan? 2 over 5y minus negative x over 5y. Okay? And then, tsaka nyo i-proceed yung operation, yung subtraction. So, magiging, copy nyo yung common denominator na 5y, right? Tapos, saka nyo i-minus yung 2 minus negative x. Okay? So, therefore, magiging 2 plus x na over 5y. So, therefore, this is the final answer. Wala na tayong masasimplify. Okay? Okay, next we have 2x over x minus 3y plus y plus 2 over 3y minus x. Okay, so kung mapapansin nyo yung denominator, para silang may x saka 3y. Okay, tapos naka-minus sila, kasabaliktad yung order nila. Okay, so kapag ganun, pwede nyo parehuhin mo na sila. It's either a factor out nyo yung negative nung isa. So, mamimili kayo kung ano yung factor out yung negative. Let's say ito na lang. So, magiging ano yan. So, copy muna natin tong unang expression. So, 2x over x minus 3y plus y plus 2 over. So, factor out natin yung negative. So, magiging negative quantity negative 3y plus x, right? Or simply, magiging ano na to? 2x over x minus 3y plus y plus 2 over. Balik ta rin natin. So, negative of x minus 3y. So, para ho na sila na x minus 3y kasa may negative. So, ba sabi ko kapag may negative sa denominator, itataas nyo na lang. So, magiging 2x over x minus 3y plus negative quantity y plus 2 over x minus 3y. So, huwag yung kalimutan yung quantity ha, kasi yung buong quantity yung nilagyan nyo ng negative. So, ngayon, similar sila. So, apply natin yung rule. So, Copy the same denominator, x minus 3y, and then add the numerator. So, 2x plus quantity negative y plus 2. So, simplify natin. So, 2x, so itong negative distribute. So, magiging negative y minus 2 over x minus 3y. Okay, so wala na tayong ma-simplify, right? So, therefore, this is the final answer. Okay, next we have x squared over x plus 3 minus 9 over x plus 3. So, para silang x plus 3 yung denominator. So, similar sila. So, copy natin yung common denominator. So, x plus 3. And then, uh, subtract natin yung numerator. So, x squared minus 9. So, therefore, we have, factor pa natin to. Pwede pa, difference of 2 squares. So, x, x, 3, 3. Isang plus, isang minus, over x plus 3. 
So, simplify natin, may makakancel tayo na x plus 3. So, therefore, ang matitira ay x minus 3. So, therefore, the final answer is x minus 3. Okay? Okay, punta na tayo sa dissimilar denominator. So, dito na tayo maghahanap ng LCD. So, sabi, to find LCD, 1, write the prime factorization for each denominator. Then, 2, include each prime factor in the LCD the most number of times it occurs in any of the individual factorization. So, let's illustrate. So, let's have the first example. x over x minus 2 plus x minus 1 over x plus 3. So, obviously, hindi na sila similar kasi magkaiba na sila ng denominator. So, hanapin natin yung LCD. So, list natin lahat ng mga denominators ng given natin na rational expression. So, dito, x minus 2, right? Tapos, dito, x plus 3. Okay? So, mapapansin nyo, sabi dun sa step 2, include each prime factor in the LCD. The most number of times is, of course, in any of the individual factorization. So, kung ano man yung naging fa factorization natin dun sa bawat rational expression, automatic mapapasama yun sa LCD. So, basically, ibig sabihin nitong x minus 2 saka x plus 3, kasama yan agad sa LCD. Okay? x minus 2, kapag LCD, ita times nyo yun, x plus 3. Okay? So, sabi sa condition din na most number of times it occurs. So, ibig sabihin yun kung ano yung highest exponent na nag-appear. So, obviously, dito sa x minus 2, ano yung highest exponent na nag-appear? 1 lang, ba So, therefore, 1 lang ilalagay nyo dito. Dito sa x plus 3, 1 lang naman din. So, 1 lang ilalagay nyo dito. So, therefore, kahit wala na itong 1, ba Kasi 1 naman yan kapag algebra nyo na sinusulat. So, therefore, ito yung LCD, x minus 2 times x plus 3. Okay? So, after nyo mahanap yung LCD, punta na tayo sa steps. Okay? So, divide nyo ngayon yung LCD na yon doon sa bawat denominator muna noong mga fractions. So, magsimula tayo dito. x minus 2 times x plus 3 divided by x minus 2. So, ano yon Parang cancel mo lang si x minus 2, ba Matitira x plus 3. Tapos, i-multiply nyo yung sagot na x plus 3 doon sa numerator niya. So, magiging x times x plus 3. Okay? And then, so, over na yun lahat lagi sa doon sa LCD na x minus 2 times x plus 3. Ito yung nahanap yung LCD, ba Then, plus, kasi plus tayo. Dito naman sa pangalawang rational expression. So, divide nyo ulit yung LCD doon sa denominator nga na x plus 3. So, x minus 2 times x plus 3 divided by x plus 3. Ang makakancel naman ay yung x plus 3. Matitira x minus 2. So, yung sagot nyo na x minus 2, i-multiply nyo naman sa numerator nga. So, x minus 1 times x minus 2. Okay? Then, tsaka nyo simplify I-perform nyo yung mga multiplication doon sa numerator. So, distribute natin to So, x squared plus 3x plus ito, foil natin. So, magiging x squared negative 2x negative x positive 2 over yung LCD. Okay? Then, simplify nyo yung common terms. So, x squared plus x squared is 2x squared. 3x minus 2x minus x is 0. Cancel, ba? Then, 2 constant. So, plus 2. Over x minus 2 times x plus 3. So, pwede yung i-factor out pa to. So, magiging 2 times x squared plus 1 over x minus 2 times x plus 3. Okay, so, kahit hindi nyo na-simplify or i-perform yung multiplication, kahit factored form na lang, will do na yun. Okay, so, therefore, this is the final answer. Okay, hindi na natin ito mapafactor kasi, di ba? Okay, so, wala na tayong makakancel. Next, we have 2x plus 1 over x squared minus 7x plus 6 minus x plus 3 over x squared minus 5x minus 6. Okay, so, hanapin muna natin yung LCD. Pero para magawa yun, I-factor out muna natin yung mga denominator. So, magiging 2x plus 1 over this time x, x, 1, 6, minus, minus, right? Minus x plus 3 over x, tsaka 6, 1, minus, plus. Okay? 
So ngayon, sabi ko, alis nyo yung mga, mga denominators ng given rational expression. So, for LCD, this natin to. X minus 6, X minus 1. Tapos yung isa, ito yun, di ba? X minus 6, X plus 1. Okay? So, automatic, mapapabilang lahat na to sa LCD. Kasi yun yung mga denominators, right? So, X minus 6. So, meron bang common? So, common sila, no? So, isusulat nyo lang as 1 yung naging common sa kanila. Tapos, pipiliin nyo yung highest exponent. Which is, para lang naman silang 1. So, therefore, 1 lang ilalagay nyo dito. Okay? And then, itong x minus 1. Meron bang common sa kabila? Wala. So, therefore, piliin nyo agad kung anong lowest exponent. Which is 1. So, 1 lang din. And then, itong kabila naman, merong x plus 1. Okay? So, ang highest exponent ay 1. So, 1 lang din. So, napansin nyo, lahat ng mga uh, denominators nung dalawang fractions ay naging kabilang doon sa LCD. Okay? Kapag meron naging common doon sa dalawa, let's say for example, x minus 6, diba? Susulat nyo lang yun as 1. And then, pipiliin nyo kung ano yung mas mataas na exponent na nag -appear. Pero since na 1 sila pareho, 1 lang ilalagay nyo. So, therefore, ito yung LCD. X minus 6, X minus 1, X plus 1. So, nakamultiply sila lahat na kapag LCD. And then, tsaka nyo gawin yung ginawa natin uli kanina, yung divide nyo tong LCD na nakuha nyo doon sa denominator. Let's say, dito muna sa naunang fraction. So, anong makakancel dyan? Ito, diba? Matitira X plus 1. Multiply nyo ngayon yung natira doon sa numerator nyo. So, magiging 2X plus 1 times X plus 1. Okay? Then, minus... Anyway, over yung LCD natin na to. So, sulat ko na lang ha, LCD. And then, ito naman. Divide natin tong LCD dito sa denominator nga. Anong makakancel? Ito, ito. So, ito, ito. Malitira x minus 1. Multiply nyo ngayon sa x plus 3. So, x plus 3 times x minus 1. Okay? Then, simplify nyo yung numerator. So, foil nyo lang. So, 2x squared. Okay? plus 2x plus x plus 1. Okay? Minus ito, x squared tapos negative x plus 3x minus 3. Okay? Over LCD. Simplify. So, 2x squared plus 3x plus 1. Distribute natin to. So, minus x squared plus x Minus 3x plus 3 over LCD. Okay? Then, combine similar terms. So, 2x squared minus x squared. So, x squared na lang. 3x plus x, 4x minus 3x. So, x. Positive x. And then, 1 plus 3 is 4. So, positive 4. Over yung LCD. Okay? So, pwede pa ba itong ma-factor? Itong numerator? Wala na. So, I think this is the final answer na. So, x squared plus x plus 4 over yung LCD. So, sulat natin yung LCD. x minus 6 times x minus 1 times x plus 1. Okay? This is the final answer. Next, we have a over 2a minus 1 plus a minus 1 over 2a plus 1 minus 2a over 4a squared minus 1. So, again, factor out muna natin yung mga denominators. So, ito, factored form nga na to. So, copy na lang natin. A over 2A minus 1 plus, ito rin, factored form nga na yan. So, A minus 1 over 2A plus 1 minus, ito na lang yung 4A squared minus 1. So, 2A over difference of 2 squares. So, 2A, 2A. And then 1, 1, 1 plus, and then 1 minus. Okay, so ngayon, hanapin na natin yung LCD. So, list natin yung tatlong denominators for LCD. So, 2A minus 1, ito yun. Then, 2A plus 1, para dito. And then, itong 2A plus 1, 2A minus 1. Okay, so, automatic, lahat to magiging kabilang doon sa LCD. Pero, check nyo kung merong naging common. Isusulat nyo lang yung naging common as 1 factor. So, sa 2A minus 1, meron naging common dito, right? So, 2A minus 1. So, 
isulat nyo lang yun as 1. Tapos pipiliin nyo kung ano yung naging highest exponent. Obviously, 1 lang. So, therefore, 1 lang ilalagay nyo dito. Kasi para silang 1, di ba? Next, itong 2a plus 1 din. So, 2a plus 1. Meron bang naging common? Meron dito para sila. So, therefore, isusulat nyo lang yun as 1. Tapos pipiliin nyo yung highest exponent na nag-appear. Which is para naman silang 1. So, 1 lang. And then ito, same na dito kasi nasulat na natin eh, di ba? So, ito na yung magiging LCD niya. 2a minus 1 times 2a plus 1. Okay? So, LCD. And then, apply na natin yung ginawa natin kanina. So, divide natin yung LCD dito muna sa first rational expression doon sa denominator niya. So, parang makakancel itong 2a minus 1. Sa matitira ay 2a plus 1. Then, multiply nyo yung sagot na yun doon sa numerator niya na a. So, magiging a times 2a plus 1. Okay? Ito pala ay over yung LCD. Ito yun. Then, plus, this time sa second rational expression, divide natin yung LCD by the denominator of the second rational expression. So, parang makakancel tong 2a plus 1. Nitira itong 2a minus 1. So, mamultiply ngayon natin yung sagot na yun dito sa a minus 1. So, magiging a minus 1 times 2a minus 1. Okay? Minus, last, itong denominator ng third rational expression. So, divide natin yung LCD sa denominator ng third rational expression. So, obviously, makakancel. So, 1 lang. And then, multiply natin sa numerator niya na 2a. So, magiging minus 2a. Kasi times 1 lang, di ba? Ngayon, simplify natin yung numerators. Apply natin yung multiplication of polynomials. So, eto distribute lang. So, 2a squared plus a. And then, ito, FOIL method, di ba? So, plus 2a squared minus a minus 2a plus 1. Okay, minus 2a over LCD. Okay, combine similar terms. So, 2a tsaka 2a. So, 4a squared. Okay. And then, a negative a, negative 2a, negative 2a. So, negative 4a, okay? And then, plus 1, okay? Over yung LCD. So, anong LCD? Sula na natin yung LCD. Yung 2a minus 1, 2a plus 1. Okay, so, pwede pa itong ma-factor. So, factor out natin sa so, magiging ano yan. 2a times 2a tapos 1, 1. Isang minus tapos isang minus. Okay? Over 2a minus 1, 2a plus 1. So, may makakancel. Ano yun? 2a minus 1, 2a minus 1. So, therefore, the final answer is 2a minus 1 over 2a plus 1. Okay? So, basically, ganun lang pag mag-a-add or mag-subtract ng dissimilar rational expressions. Factor out nyo muna yung lahat ng denominators and then, hanapin nyo yung LCD. So, after nyo mahanap yung LCD, Divide nyo yung LCD na yon to each denominator. So, mag-start kayo sa unang rational expression. Divide yung LCD sa denominator niya. And kung anong sagot, i-multiply nyo sa numerator niya. Okay? And then, gawin nyo rin yun sa succeeding terms. And then, after nyo magawa yun, i-simplify nyo yung numerators. Mag-foil kayo. Okay? Or kung ano man yung multiplication of polynomials na pwede nyo apply over yung LCD. Tapos simplify nyo, combine yung similar terms ng numerators nyo. Tapos, kapag na-simplify nyo na, na-combine nyo na yung similar terms, check nyo kung mapafactor pa yung numerator. Kapag mapafactor pa, try nyo yung factor kasi baka meron pa kayong makancel doon sa denominator. Okay? So, that's it for this topic. So, sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa panunood.